All right, it is time to talk about the markets with Jim Cramer on the floor of the New York Stock Exchange. And Jim, let's begin with J.C. Penney's results. Yeah, look, I mean, Penny was a top line miss. Uh, they said that things were getting better throughout the quarter. No one really seems to care anymore. I think that J.C. Penney is another one of these raise on debt uh, questions. What is it? What's its reason for being? Does it have anything that's really important? It says Sephora, but you obviously that's just a franchise. The Sephora is a standalone. It's got some home stuff, but furnishings. But remember, that's what Amazon now says is going in again. So when you see a penny, you say to yourself, I don't know. Uh, why does it need to exist? Now, I happen to like going penny. They, penny, they I have a nice penny. They have good values. But it's not enough anymore because of Amazon. Well, speaking of Amazon, you mentioned in Real Money how Amazon is just killing Nordstrom. Yeah, I mean, Nordstrom is uh, basically always seemed to know its customer better than anyone else. That was its hallmark. But when you, the subtext of why Nordstrom didn't do well is, is that they do not know their customer nearly as well as Amazon does. As a matter of fact, there's a moment in the call where they say, look, you know, we find out that people who go to Rack, they tend, maybe they go to like our big stores. Big stores were down 6.4% in the comp basis. Now, I did say that their stores are all cash flow positive, but in the end, that doesn't matter because if the business is beginning to erode, it will go away. Look at the Tivana numbers that Star Starbucks have when they finally realize Starbucks is the first to recognize the mall is going away, that uh, it, things can snowball. So yes, right now Nordstrom's is doing not that horrible, but their stock is reflecting the fact that it will do worse. All right, that was quite an interview last night with uh, Paul Pullman on Mad Money. Yeah, well, Paul Pullman <laughs> was uh, adamant that there was no real uh, engagement on his end to when Kraft Heinz made its bid. We sold our Kraft Heinz when they did make that bid because Kraft Heinz is doing quite poorly. And one of the things I would say is Kraft Heinz is overvalued. If they can't do a hostile bid, if they can't get a, a food company, they cannot do their zero-based budgeting that's so great. Paul Pullman's put up the best numbers. He's up 30%. He's got a big buyback. He boosted the dividend. He's getting rid of brands that don't grow and adding brands that do grow. Paul Pullman is the hero of this era right now when it comes to food. All right, moving to Wells Fargo and Action Alert's name, Baird is out with a note saying the company is slowly turning a corner. Yeah, now Wells Fargo is just like Chipotle. When you have this kind of disaster, it takes 18 months. Now, it's very funny. I had Jack Hartung the other day on Mad Money. He is the CFO of Chipotle. He said, listen, Jim, the whole time you were absolutely right. It's taken 18 months. That's when people forget. So, you know, you've got a while before you annualize. Now, we'll stay long Wells Fargo because we think the Fed's going to raise rates and they make a lot of money. But Wells Fargo shot itself in the foot in 18 months. From, oh, well, actually now you're talking about, say, nine months you will begin to start thinking, that, oh, what, what did Wells Fargo do? Because that's the way the American mind works. Interesting. All right, moving on, GE downgraded by Deutsche Bank. It's a very powerful downgrade, and it's a bad name for us. Uh, I, I had hoped that they would do some of the things that, we, we're not down much on it, but uh, the, the piece is about cash flow and weak cash flow. I mean, they did not have good cash flow, but they said it was really one off and the cash flow is going to bounce right back. So if the cash flow bounces right back, then you shouldn't worry about GE. If it doesn't, then the Deutsche Bank note is going to hold true. Um, the orders were very good for GE, but it's quite obvious from this downgrade that Deutsche Bank is questioning the dividend. Okay, now when you interviewed Tim Cook of Apple, incredible interview, he announced a $1 billion fund yes. and Corning and is now going to get yes, some Yes, we saw they have the first $200 million to develop, develop revolutionary uh, glass right here in this country. Um, so uh, Tim Cook immediately true to his word. Uh, I would point out that Tim Cook stock is going up and up and up. There was a couple of very positive notes today, including a note from Goldman about the thousand dollar phone. And the thousand dollar phone will have a lot of different features, but it'll be a lot more like the seven plus, uh, which turns out to be a cord never cord cutter because the, the, the uh, form size is something that a lot of people like, particularly in China, to be able to watch a lot of TV. And just a reminder, Apple is a holding of Action Alerts Plus. Yes, thank you. And then finally on Stop Trading, you talked about Dick's Sporting Goods. Yeah, well Dick's, I mean, a very well run company, but they had a computational error that overstated their EBITDA by $23 million. It's interesting, Hain today finally looks like the light at the end of the tunnel. They're talking about the SEC, uh, that wrap, uh, potential wrap up. I don't think they should have said that. You never know when things are gonna wrap up and the SEC doesn't like that. But I wonder if the SEC is not gonna come in and say, okay, listen, we need to know, Dix, how this happened, and that this presents a cloud over the stock of Dix for some time. Uh, by the way, Dix sells Under Armour. One of the call-outs on the Coles call that I like was that Under Armour's selling quite well there, as is Nike. 
Kohl's needs more brands. I do believe that their Divin is the safest of the ones we're talking about. Okay, Jim, we want to remind everyone that if you want to meet Jim Kramer, May 23rd is the day, Jim, big, you're holding... Big selfie, Facebook, Instagram, <laughs> Snap event. Uh, one of the things that we do, I mean, I hosted Sank in a Mile last week. You know, we have 120 tequilas, we have 40 mezcals, and we have me talking about stocks. Uh, I, I just really encourage you to come. Uh, there is a fee, obviously, and then you get to join the club, and I think it's a very, very interesting way to spend some time together in a personal way and I really like that and everyone who knows me knows that it's fun uh, the bar is a blast my wife designed it I hope she'll come by <laughs> and I can't wait for the event that's May 23rd bar San Miguel go to the street.com for more details Jim Kramer thank, thank you so you. much all right and for more of the stocks Jim mentioned please head back to the street.com <laughs>